Hey everyone, my name is Swastik Barinwal and I'm going to introduce about my open source project which is known as Moxie Light Maker. Before I proceed further, I will first would like to introduce myself. So who am I exactly? I am a technical writer and an open source contributor. I am a core developer at DB program language. I can code in C++, C, Go, Python, and V. And when I am free, I indulge myself in anime and manga. Whenever I am bored, I tingle around with compilers, operating system, and I live inside a terminal as you can see. Now I shall be telling the features of my project. Features of this project. Create terminal boxes up to eight inbuilt styles. You can also make your own box style. It has support for true color and terminal color detection. And you can also make your make and sky tab and multi-line boxes. These will be shown in the demonstration part of the of the talk. It also supports UTF-8, emoji, Windows Console, and text alignment with custom title position. Now, how would you install this project? We'll be able to install this project by using the command go install by following that this link. Make sure that you are updated to the latest version of Go. Now we shall get to the journey part. Now I'm going to tell how I started this project. I made this project to learn the Go programming language as I wanted to contribute to the V programming language. V takes more service syntax from Go language. To learn and contribute to V language, I had to learn Go. I thought of developing a project which will help me to understand Go better and would be unique in general. Then I saw a project in V known as Vox, which is spelled as B O X X. Vox was used to make terminal boxes for command line applications or CLIs in short. So, I ported that the Go language and I was able to port most of the functionalities because V and Go syntax were really similar. Still, I had a few roadblocks which were eventually fixed. After refactoring and testing, I first release of the module. Then, I had a lot of features and optimization in mind. So, I went to many websites which helped me how to implement them. Then in the next minor release, I was able to implement color support for the project. Then I began implementing Unicode, Emoji, and Sky text, multi-line text, tap, tap lines, support for Windows console, etc. as they were not implemented in the original box project. Now after three years of development, testing, and refactoring, the project can now be used in production. Now I will get started with a code demonstration of my talk. Here is a simple demo of how you can make a simple box in my project using my project ID. Configure is the structure which has to be used here, where PY is the horizontal padding and PX is the vertical padding. Type is the box type. The project supports eight inbuilt box types, and I will be showcasing only some of them. As you can see, here is a basic box mean weight. Now we shall try to color the box. As you can see, the box color has been changed to red. Now I will change the title color to. As you can see, the title color has been changed to blue. Now I will also change the content color. As you can see, the content color has been changed to green. Now I will make the title title color to be of high intensity. Now. Now to make it high intensity, you have have to add hi prefix.
uh, the, as you can see, the color has been changed to high intensity. Now, it must be noted that some colors will not reflect on the terminal or on the on your IDLE because of the of the theme theming which you have used. Now let's get to the next. Now you can also align your content using this project. As you can see, I have aligned my content using using this align content. Where now let's try changing the align content to right. As you can see, the, the content has been aligned to right. Now we shall try centering it. Now the title has been, the content has been centered. Now, shall we also change the title position? The title position has been changed to top. Now we shall make it bottom. So I hope this, this will clear out how you can make a content which has to be aligned according to your needs. Next, we will get to the how my project can use my project can use and sky text to know more about and sky text i i will recommend you to go on sleep here we are using the bold and sky escape code as you can see the bold text works for here too Cause saga has also been bolted, but it may not be visible because of the terminal coloring and the theme. Next, we shall try. The project also makes supports of using as Yard. Now, it must be noted that all as Yard may not fit inside the box because because uh, because uh, because they may exceed the terminal width. Now you can also make a lolcat example. To know about lolcat, please uh, go to this link. As you can see, all the text in all the text. That is the content and the title has been removed, have been remodized. You, as my project is about making highly customized boxes, you can also make your own custom box by using the box structure. This is how you can make a custom box and this is how it will look. Now here's another example how you can make a box which you can use in your own command line application. Here I have taken the inspiration from the npn update 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 command. As you can see that you can also use this like this. So what, what this project has won along the way? This project is being used in Minikube project, project which is by Kubernetes. This project has been featured on GitHub Radar, GitHub India, Awesome Go, Go Lang Weekly, etc.
Now, as we are around the end of the talk, I would like to conclude that this whole slide and talks were made inside the terminal by using my project. Now, those who want to get connected with me can get connected on these accounts. Now, I wish everyone good luck for the hackathon and I hope me the best candidate will.